y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my basement as I'm about to watch Outlander. We're at season four, episode nine. It's been a few strange, strange few days for me, y'all. I hope I can put a sentence together and I'll explain in a moment why. And you may be saying, why are you here? And that's because I want to know what happens next. I intended to watch this on Friday. Right now for me, it's Monday. I wanted to watch it and find out what happens and I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired, I'm just tired, period. But I'm tired of waiting to see what happens next. Cause last episode, we met some old friends and some old foes, namely Stephen freaking Bonnet. Stephen freaking Bonnet. And also our old nemesis, sexual assault. Why, why, why? As some of you had said, well, it happened in the book. Okay, fine. So why does it keep happening in the book? At this point, I was hoping that we had moved beyond let's just assault everyone point of the story. We're almost at now where you can at say, the question should be, how many characters in Outlander have not been sexually assaulted? Because I think it's fewer than the ones who have. It's a trope that works for me only so far as to when it becomes excessive, I start going, why? It's not my favorite. Uh, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. And sure, yes, sexual assault happened way too frequently all the time. Not only then, but now. But I, I wish there was an, an... Can we throw another obstacle at them? Besides this physical, mental assault on a single person. That would be nice. But Roger and Brianna, yes, met... They found each other, hand fasted, conversed like they do, which is they don't really say exactly or really listen to what the other person is saying, Roger, and uh, separated. And that's when uh, Brianna came across Stephen freaking Bonnet, who then, who then? What was also kind of sort of odd, and I mentioned this last episode, was the balance. The balance felt a little weird because we had this super long detailed love scene between Roger and Brianna which should have been lovely but then we had an intercut between Jamie and Claire at the theater and meeting Washington and oh no Murtaugh's gonna get caught by the governor's guys and subverting that with this super long intimate love scene and then we end with rape it was oddly balanced so I don't know where we're gonna go forward but I want to find out. I want to find out. Does Brianna finally meet her parents or come across her parents? She's so close. She's so close. And I'm thinking Roger's going to get blamed for somehow for hurting Brianna. However, all these guys in the bar allowed it to happen. So really, is he going to get blamed for anything? I don't know. It was weird, y'all. It was weird. And I'm hoping I'm making sense. But OK, so quick PSA before I lead into this. Which is, um, if you're a subscriber or if you've seen on my community page, you would have saw that. Um, so Friday, when I was going to watch Outlander, I, I actually ended up in the ER with appendicitis. But here's the thing, and this is why I'm doing a PSA. I did not know I was having appendicitis because I had zero symptoms of appendicitis. I went in because I actually had chest pain and my blood pressure has been crazy ever since COVID. My blood pressure has been out of control sometimes hitting 220 over 110, which isn't good. Um, neck pain, arm pain. So on Friday when I developed chest pain, I was afraid I was going to be one of the many people I've heard who have um, experienced heart attacks post COVID. Um, the author of Julia, Julia and Julia died just recently. One of my mother's friends after she had COVID, heart attack in the backyard. I didn't want to be one of those, but I thought maybe it's just indigestion. Maybe my cereal just didn't sit well in my stomach all it was all day long that I had this pain and so I finally sucked it up went to the doctor be patient if you go to the doctors the hospitals are crazy busy it's a five hour wait finally got seen it was my blood test that said something was up my white blood cell count was high and that's what prompted them to take other tests because otherwise my heart looked fine no signs of a heart attack at all but an x-ray did show that my appendix was inflamed. And when she pushed on my appendix, boom, oh, <laughs> there it is. But again, I had no 
symptoms of appendicitis. So if I had not just gone in and sucked it up, I could have been chugging antacids until my appendix ruptured. So listen to your body. If you know something's wrong, you might not know what's wrong, but if you know something's wrong, just go. Again, be patient, check it out. <laughs> They're doing EKGs and blood draws in the lobby of my hospital. They're so busy, but go. And so now I've just been hanging out, sleeping. I've been mostly sleeping. And now I'm gonna get a chance to watch Outlander finally with all of you. So thank you so much for being here. Hopefully, hopefully I can I can form coherent sentences as we go forward. We shall see. We shall see. So thanks again, y'all. I'm gonna get locked and loaded. There will be no whiskey for me for a while, as you can imagine. But I'm hoping to have a good time with you as well. So let's get to it. Lizzie. Oh, no. Mistress, you're bleeding. Oh, Brianna. Oh. Look how terrible for both of them. Oh. Did he hurt you? I wish we could have seen a little bit more of their relationship on the boat. You have my hand here. Across, you know, their trip across to the States. It'd just be nice. It'd be a nice touch if I can see how, how deep their relationship was or is. Okay, Andre. Captain. Sit down. No. I don't think he works for you anymore. You don't work for him anymore, right? No. I'm pleased you joined us. Because I don't have time to send a man out looking for the missing member of my crew before departing. You'll be coming with us to Philadelphia. Why? Uh, no, I told you I needed to find my way to Wilmington. Ah, oh, you did. And I told you it was but one of our ports on the way. You weren't thinking you'd forsake us and abandon your duties before our journey's end. He's just so messing with him because he didn't need him on the ship the first place, which he said. But if they are not aboard when the time comes to set sail, they often find themselves missing more than their wages. Just kill him now. Just be done with it. No, I have friends in this town. And enemies. And enemies. You'll be paying once the cargo's unloaded in Philadelphia. After that, where you going once you do is your own business. Well, at least it's not back across the waters, the ocean. They're not gonna let him say goodbye to Bree. Tell the young woman I was here. The man who was here with me yesterday, the Scottish man, did he return? He asked after you, and then he left with the crew of the Gloriana. Do you know where they went? To the ship. Oh, Brianna, no. Oh, Brianna, no. Don't just leave it there. I love you a little, a lot, passionately. Not at all. You don't know what happened. At the theater, the play was brought to a halt when the wife of a Scotsman acted as a surgeon and cut a man open. How much does Lizzie know about Claire? They're here. He said Mr. Fraser's over by McCabe's now. He better be. He better be. Excuse me. Have you seen a tall red-headed Scotsman? We see her. He uh, put her in the back. Thank you. Oh, no. No. This is... No. 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 <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh, no. Ow. The Ow. I should have brought a pillow with me. What do you want here, Lassie? You. Huh. <laughs> You're Jamie Fraser. Who asks? My name is Brianna. I'm your daughter. Brianna. 
Diana. Can't you tell? I thought of you as groom. Never expected. Oh, that be She's had a rough couple of days. You'll have not seen your mother then. <laughs> she'll be mad with joy. I think she'll be mad, because why are you here? Why are you there? Well, I'm glad they didn't take forever for her to find them. You die in a fire. I knew you'd found each other and... Oh, she brought it with her. Smudged date. Unforgivable mistake by the printer. He'd know. I know it's a surprise. But we'll explain so later. When it comes to you, Auntie Claire, I blind it's better not to ask too many questions. Oh, man, this dumb riverboat. I get nervous now when I'm on the riverboat. Oh, Lizzie Smitten. So handsome. <laughs> you are handsome, aren't you? <gasps> the ring! The first time we made this journey, something terrible happened. The worst of it is, Uncle Jamie had helped this criminal to regain his liberty. Couldn't have foreseen it. This man, Stephen Bonnet, Irish charm, me. He fooled us all. Stole our wedding ring, too. Uncle Jamie's never forgiven himself. Mm hmm. You needn't worry. I'm sure it is only in our nightmares he can trouble us now. So, Brianna, are you going to tell your mother? The news she brought. You could make sure we're never in the cabin the Sunday before January 21st. Never a year for a decade. Make a holiday out of it. <laughs> I haven't had much luck changing history in the past, Claire. That's true. Mm, yeah, it's true. Pretty as a picture. Because I think that's what it is. Has anyone confirmed for me if that's like a real, real location? A client wants to have you arrested for conspiracy. You have a spy among your men. Hardy. How do you find him? Brianna, this is my godfather. <laughs> what took you so long, lass? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I don't remember which of your siblings it was. <laughs> Bit of fast, will I? Teach you all the names. Here's my whiskey. There was a time when we Jamie was sent off to foster with his uncle Diggle. Oh, so they didn't tell Jamie that Roger's Dougal's kin? If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go to bed. Good night. Good night, lass. Do do they have a bed for her? I'll walk you to the shelter. Shelter, okay. I can check in on Lizzie. Those gourds remind me of my grandparents. It's quite a lot to take in, being here. It was for me. It's quite overwhelming. I think it's still overwhelming for Claire. Forgive me, Captain, but I wondered if I might have one or two of those small gems instead of coin as wages. You're all supposed to be a difficult lord to serve. Well, where's a lassie? Now run, Roger, run! Run, Roger, run! So how much time is passing? And Bree better not be pregnant. And they pull the whole who's the baby daddy thing, because that would be still flippin' annoying. Yes, please, someone teach this girl how to shoot.
In God's name, did you learn to shoot like that? My father? <gasps> Her other father. Her other father. I can his name. <laughs> Everyone always just calls me Bree. Something wrong with Bree? No, it's uh, Scott's what? For what? It doesn't translate. Why won't they tell her? Because I would like to know. A Bree means a disturbance. Aye. Among other things. We well, could have told her that. I didn't want to hurt the less. She's clearly heartsick over this Roger. Tell him who Roger is. Don't be too creepy, Jamie. Let her know you're there. I'll be hunting up the mountain. Will you come with me, lass? Now, wasn't Brianna studying architecture? Couldn't she build them? Construct them a little shack? No. What are we hunting? Memories. Time. Oh. Bees. And then wrap it in the back. And then once we return home, you'll see. I'll place it in a bee gum, and come in the morning, the bees will venture out, looking around for the nearest flowers. Don't they realize they aren't in their proper place? And what do they do about it? Well, there's no means to find their way back, and no home left here to come back to. Oh, that's a terrible, terrible analogy. Now nah, they'll be content. <clears throat> content in their new home. Is, is that what you're trying to say to her? I have a home. J Jamie, is that what? Well, I don't know to replace your father. He was a good man. Hmm. Sure. I'm grateful to him. And he loved you. Even though he didn't see himself in you. I don't know what to call you. Hmm. You can call me Da. If you like. So what is Bree's plan? She's just gonna stay there forever or is she gonna go to try to go back? Please don't go there with the story. Please don't go there. How far along are you? <sighs> About two months. Oh no. Oh no. It might not be Roger's baby. You need to keep explaining, Pumpkin. This man at the Willow Tree Tavern. And then I didn't fight him. I didn't fight him hard enough. Why the hell did you fight him? Brianna. Oh, Brianna. Oh, my baby. I don't like this t I do not like this turn of events at all what oh this is gonna kill Jamie this will kill Jamie when he finds out who it was she was raped right after Roger left she only just told me today it's something else Oh, there's more than something else. Brianna, you should have told your mother sooner. Oh no! Oh no. And Brianna should have told her mother sooner, the second she suspected. Oh, this is gonna go poorly. This is gonna go so poorly. Oh, she's gonna find the ring. Oh no! Jamie. Brianna. Oh, no. Near the road, sir. She came to me. Seen him before. With Brianna. I was afraid, sir. May God forgive me. Oh, this is gonna go so poorly. I can smell it. 
smell him on her. His seat. Oh, Lizzie, no. She was a virgin when he took her. I am her maid, sir. I saw the blood. Tell him, breathe a word of this to my wife. What part do you understand? Mother, mother. Why the mother what have I done? Chest. Chest compressions. I'm, my chest hurts. Oh, no. Oh, this is all sorts of wrong. This is terrible. Brianna, tell me. Stephen Bonner. I saw him with your ring, and I offered to buy it from him. Ian told me about what happened on the river, and I knew that you would feel awful for what happened to me because of the ring, and Jamie would blame himself because he helped Bonnet escape. You have to promise me to keep this to yourself. <laughs> promise. Tessa, could you tell me if Fraser's right just near? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Okay, Jamie, Jamie. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. He's dead. He's so dead. He's so dead. Don't Get rid of him. Should I kill him? No. No, I won't make a murder of you. What do you want me to do with him? I don't care. Just get him out of my seat. Well, that was something. I can't even laugh because it hurts so much. Uh, yeah, okay, so terribleness, okay. So I'm glad that they didn't take an extra long time for Brianna to find mom and dad and for things to come out. Because they could have stretched that forever. What happens next? It is terrible. It's terrible all around. So this is, I can't even form a sentence. This is what I call good conflict, whereas one thing happened, Jamie feels guilty about he couldn't protect Claire from Stephen Bonnet. And then by default down the line, Rihanna, who he loves more than anything, couldn't be protected all because he let, he helped this man out once. And so of course he's gonna feel horrible. It's, it's, it's bad things that happen that make sense. And it's terrible. I hate this, but it's good. I hate it, but it's good. Oh my goodness. And I wish Brianna would have told mom earlier that she was late and they caught it possibly. <clears throat> that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Well, that's a tough one because you don't want your rapist baby. So difficult. And now Roger's a bloody pulp. And we know, we know this is not the last of the stupid head bonnet. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I got a few days off to rest, so I might be able to get back to this sooner rather than later. And I do hope that you are all there with me to send positive vibes when I do, because it is so much more fun when we do do this together. So please listen to your bodies. Listen to your bodies. Stretch. Stay hydrated. Um, and, and then come watch the next video in the queue. So <laughs> thanks again, y'all. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> and until next time.